is our pleasure tonight to have the mayor of uh, Bartlett here. Um, and Mr. Mayor, we'd like to call on you make a few remarks. The mayor of Bartlett, uh, Mr. Keith McDonough. Has their tall shoes on tonight. <laughs> um, it is great to be here. Thanks to the chamber for uh, working towards this. I know this has been in the works for some time, uh, and it is good to be able to be in the belly of the beast uh, to see where the sausage is being made. You know, we look at the TV and we're watching as uh, viewers who've never actually been inside of studios. So many of the folks, they really have uh, great images and that's the job is to make it look that big. But uh, you, you guys are doing a wonderful job bringing uh, a couple of stations, uh, but, but at least 24 and, and you have a sister station here as well, bringing a couple of stations somewhat back to life. And so I'm really proud of what you're doing in that regard. That means more jobs, more revenue in the community. It's good for everybody when uh, you all are doing well. I always hope that you'll be giving uh, really good uh, news as well as the bad news, because sometimes there is some of that too. But we like to accentuate the positives and by looking at 150 years, uh, of activity and you think back to really what we had in 1866 was a road made of boards and they charged you to ride on that stage road and that was it uh, and we've gone from that to a barroom salute town to uh, a very restrictive conservative community uh, and a lot of iterations in between and I, as you all, I hope, will grow, so will Bartlett and this end of the county. Uh, we still believe we're in the right place at the right time. I believe that when I got involved 30, almost 40 years ago uh, with the Chamber of Commerce, I believe it today after 14 years of being the mayor, uh, we've seen the growth. Uh, we've seen us go from 500 people in the 70s to 60,000 now. And as was said, we're still growing. The best, I still believe, is still ahead of us. The fact that we now have our own schools uh, back. We had schools, it's not our first time to have schools. We have our schools back. Uh, we're seeing some real positive impact of that with uh, people choosing to move into Bartlett for the next generations. I'm, I'm blessed to have three generations of my family in Bartlett and many families are multi-generational. We believe that will only continue to grow now that we provide all of the services that our citizens need. So I'm thankful to have um, some of my staff here with me, Debbie Jellino uh, and uh, Mark Brown, and then our county trustee is here, uh, David Lenore. Uh, you can't miss him. He doesn't have any tall shoes on. He's <laughs> uh, and it's good to be with you all, and I wish you the very best. Mayor, uh, you made a comment I think uh, was important and it stuck in my mind to accentuate the positive and that's one of the purposes of the initiative that we came up with. You know, you take these opportunities when you come into markets to look for an uh, fun opportunity such as a 150th anniversary and, and we, we started to talk about what kind of things we could do that could put the community in a different light and, and give some... Uh, put a spotlight on it, frankly, and, and we know we have that opportunity. We take that seriously on a, on a regular basis, but serving our local communities is something that Next Stop Broadcasting and we all here in Memphis at this operation are just are, are, are passionate about. To the extent that, as you see, I mean, we, when we took over this station, we named it Local 24. Um, so serving the local communities in distinct and unique ways and then creating content that serves the interests of the people in those communities and then create some opportunities for advertisers as well to, uh, uh, to take advantage of that. So all of that, those goals of ours are really uh, represented well here in this particular initiative. And so we're happy to do that. We're happy to celebrate it here tonight. We've alluded to it in many different ways and we had two prime uh, significant partners here in the business community step up and sponsor um, 
become title sponsors of the initiative, and they were they are Olympus and um, and, and Brother, and so they stepped up early on and, and and were very supportive of the effort, and that allowed us to continue to acquire and to produce some of the materials here. They unfortunately were you know just prevented by their schedules from being here tonight. I would have loved to have both of them here, and we were playing dates for a long time trying to get everybody in the room. So we we did fairly well, but we missed those two, but. The beauty of television is we know how to tape it, we know how to put it on TV, right? So, so really, Olympus and Brothers represented here tonight. These are pieces that are running as part of their sponsorship, and these are their corporate spokesmen talking about how important Bartlett is to, the, to their business, and, and, and they're uh, observing the uh, 150th as well. So if we roll the tape, please, buddy. On behalf of Olympus Surgical Technologies America, congratulations to Bartlett on your 150th anniversary. Thank you for all the local talent and support throughout the years. Olympus is excited to continue helping Bartlett grow and thrive as we expand our medical device services and bring more jobs to the area. Cheers to the future of Bartlett. Brother International Corporation made a strategic decision to locate its North American distribution center in Bartlett, Tennessee. On behalf of Brother, I would like to wish the city of Bartlett Congratulations on its 150th anniversary celebration. So those two firms uh, stepped up and uh, helped make one lead. This doesn't have to be that difficult. Basketball, football, basketball, take that, right? Um, we're thrilled that those guys uh, were able to, uh, to participate. Now, uh, the, the other element of their sponsorship campaign was to, uh, to, to support the production and telecast of historical vignettes. And we, we had meetings with folks from the city and the chamber going back. It was, I think the first meeting might have been November, December. Debbie and I were talking about that earlier this evening. And, uh, and we started to develop topics. And so we, we agreed to produce six 30 second, second vignettes that now will run from, they've been running for about 30 days. They're going to run through the end of the year. We picked three of them, and I'd like to show you a reel now that just has three of the six vignettes that are rolling, uh, playing back to back. So again, buddy, roll it. Local 24 celebrates Bartlett's 150th anniversary. Everyone can enjoy the outdoors in Bartlett. Take advantage of the city parks, a golf course, a splash park, and many trails. Nesbitt Park has over 300 acres of parkland dedicated to public use. Check out the walking and hiking trails, mountain bike trails, a swimming pool, multi-purpose fields, and 24 sports-specific fields. Bartlett's 150th celebration is brought to you by Olympus and Brother. Local 24 celebrates Bartlett's 150th anniversary. What's now called Bartlett started as a stagecoach stop. Gradually, more and more homes were built, including the Manor House at Davies Plantation, Gotten House, and Cedar Hall. Agriculture was the principal industry, with soybeans, cotton, and flowers being the major crops. Incorporated in 1866, Bartlett is now the 10th largest city in Tennessee. Bartlett's 150th celebration is brought to you by Olympus and Brother. Local 24 celebrates Bartlett's 150th anniversary. A great place to live and raise a family. Bartlett provides metropolitan amenities in a small town environment. With its own hospital, police and fire department, city services, parks, recreation center, and school district, Bartlett provides its residents with everything needed for a comfortable lifestyle. Bartlett's 150th celebration is brought to you by Olympus and Brother. So that's half of them. There's three more. They're done. They're ready to go on the air and they'll go on um, um, next week. So again, very excited and pleased with that portion of the campaign. Now there's other elements as well and some of that started when uh, we had a quiet group early on uh, be part of our, our local morning program called Local Memphis Live. We're going to have some special news content during the uh, remainder of the year where we'll focus on some issues related to, uh, to the community. And then uh, the, the, the final element is that we've made a, a, a special package, uh, again with John's assistant, uh, assistance, that we developed an advertising package that we made exclusively available to members of the uh, Bartlett Chamber. So and some of the people that have uh, participated in that, we're thrilled that they're here tonight as well. So. Um, it, it, it's been a it's been a fun campaign to put together. This was kind of going to be the uh, a, a, a culminating portion of it here tonight. We know that the people here in this room today really love and, and support this community. We're happy to count ourselves among them. We thank you for coming here tonight. 
Um, there is a live TV show going to go on in the studio for the next 30 minutes, so you can kind of peek in from and, and, and look at it through the window and see what it looks like that way. It's also going to magically appear on these TVs in a moment. <laughs> there as well. Um, and there's, uh, there's plenty of food and beverage, and we invite you to stay uh, uh, through the newscast, certainly. And if you wanted to, after the newscast, we could take you on a tour of the studio. So we thank you for spending you know, part of your day. Two of our Olympus people as Thank you, everyone, and enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you.